welcome to another episode of Discount Pokemon Dex. Today we have Zekrom Vikavolt, uh, and I don't think I've seen this anywhere. Granted, I'm not really hip on the scene. I'm kind of like your uh, your caveman artist. I'm just gonna do what I do, and uh, you know, I, I like uh, kind of experiencing things new and staying away from like being hip on everything and reading up and everything. It gives me a disadvantage, but it gives me advantage as well because it helps kind of uh, my creativity. And uh, hopefully I can pass it along to you guys and then you guys can take something and, and do something fun with it as well. But I have not seen this card used in play and I think I even did like a quick Google search and I haven't seen anyone make a deck with it and I'm kind of surprised. So um, let's go to the focal point of the deck. Stormblade, this attack right here. Uh, 130, discard two energy from this Pokemon, along with, of course, Vikavolt's strong charge ability to put a lightning and grass energy on uh, any Pokemon as you see fit. And uh, it's pretty obvious, you're going to put that energy on and do 130 damage. And uh, I mentioned this before, that basically like 120 is kind of like the Mendoza line, or maybe, you know, the average attack you want from an attacker uh, that's not a... Uh, two prize attacker and uh, 120 is good Pretty good and 130 is <laughs> even better obviously uh, you'll knock out a lot of po okay, the Pokemon. It's 130 um, and uh, So there you go. There's nothing. There's nothing uh, Tricky about this deck. It's pretty straightforward Power up Zekrom do lots of damage repeat um, Discarding the energy isn't a problem. Uh, I mean it is a little bit. We do have some synergy here with well, I put a super rod in. I have two energy recycles. That seems to be enough as long as they don't get sycamore away. Sometimes they do. Uh, for that reason, I only have two sycamore in this deck, which also kind of makes it easier when we're going to transform this deck into a 2019 standard. And that's kind of what I'm thinking of these days. Uh, you know, I just I know I did the whole sync on a uh, whole series on car bank and stuff like that. Some older cards, uh, clay fairy stuff that's going away. In a short time but uh, you know so I'm kind of being mindful of that yeah Bridget's here but there's gonna be ways to replace these cards uh, Brock as well Brock's grit that's one that seems to hurt me I'm not sure what's coming back that'll help energy get back in um, and and Pokemon that's that's actually a, a, a good part of this deck so uh, I wouldn't say it's a crucial part but it does help out so we'll see we'll see how uh, how things shape up but Ultimately, uh, I think this deck will get stronger because then a lot of other stuff will go away uh, and making this a uh, better deck. You know, I'm thinking strong energy will be one, but uh, my opponent won't be able to use Sycamore, and I don't think that's a huge uh, help for this deck. As you see, I only have two of them here. But, uh, you know, this is a discount deck. You know, this is not maybe the most discount deck because this is so rare, but again, this is pretty cheap. You might already have Vika Volt already. Uh, you, the Tapu Coco, all right, still I think is a little bit pricey for what it does. I'm sure you can find a way to get around it, but um, yeah, this is pretty much a discount deck. Oranguru, uh, I think two of these are in a theme deck. You can get that pretty easily. The Zekroms come cheaply, as I talked about easy, uh, before. It's pretty, pretty easy to get a card like this if you have some spare coin. Just use that coin uh, and uh, don't, don't buy packs. Use it to buy... Um, uh, the uh, avatar. So you can go back and check out that video if you're not sure what I'm talking about. Uh, go check through. But that's the that's the basic focal point. There's lots of synergy in this deck. Um, you know, obviously, uh, Aether Paradise Conservation Area makes my Pokemon take 30 less damage. This is great. Uh, helps keep these guys alive and even the uh, the, the Grubbin as well. Uh, 30 less damage for an attack. Uh, Zekrom's other attack, this Outrage does help as well. Uh, if he gets some damage on him, I've actually, you know, somebody thought they could knock him out and they get 100 and I can just do 120 damage with the, with the double energy. Uh, so that's kind of a cool attack, a cool feature of this deck. If your opponent early on in the game doesn't have enough energy to knock you, uh, enough uh, ability to knock you out, well, this outrage is going to hurt them uh, if they don't. Um, other things in this deck, uh, I already talked about uh, recycling the energy, which is a big part. I have a single heavy ball because, as you see here, uh, he has a high retreat cross uh, cost. Excuse me. Um, but uh, the other oh, the other attackers in this deck, Tapu Koku. Obviously, flying flip is good. Softens up your opponent. It's a good card to have. A free retreat cost. 
pretty good if you have to use something like Guzma and you need something to you know get your Pokemon uh, back in the active. Electric Ball for 100, don't sleep on this, especially with Vika Volt. Uh, doing 100 damage, I can't tell you how many times my opponent knocks out my Zekrom, not thinking he's gonna. I'm gonna retaliate with maybe only 20 damage, but this Electro Ball. And there's one other card I want to talk about, this Oranguru. Uh, sure, in this deck, uh, it's easy to get three energy on anyone as long as Vika Volt stays alive. So he does 60. Um, you know, that's easily 100 if two energies on your opponent. Uh, your active uh, your opponent's active Pokemon, so 100 damage again. That's kind of the Mendoza line or the average line that you want to get. Uh, but most often they'll have more than that, three, four. So if your opponent you have something like Gardevoir, we just chucked on like five energy or something like that. Great, bring a Rangaroo out there. Um, I think I don't know if people are catching on to this yet. I don't see a lot of people using a Rangaroo as an attacker, but I'm starting to find tremendous value in uh, in using him. And especially with decks where you have energy acceleration from the discard because you're kind of getting a synergy there. So you're using something like Ultra Ball to discard the energy, which is make your hand smaller. You could use Orangaru Instruct to draw more cards. So that's, you know, kind of feeds into your deck's theme. And then the psychic ability uh, to do lots of damage. And if you're doing, if your opponent's got to consistently put two, three, four energy on their Pokemon, you're getting your money's worth. Uh, so. You're going to see a lot of this Oranguru in my builds uh, because I'm just really liking how this how this card's coming out. And I've been putting uh, like three in a lot of decks as well. Uh, there's only two here. Uh, I think, you know, we have Coco, we've got Zekrom. So there's enough to go around. It's easy to get him back in with the Rod and uh, Brock's Grit. Uh, there's a lot of energy in this deck 13 because we need to have it in the deck for Vika Vault. And you're going to see we're going to run through this energy, but... <laughs> We're gonna be knocking out our opponent. This is a uh, this is a fun, cool deck. It's pretty strong. Obviously, the weakness right now, you can see, and this drives me a little batty. Uh, fighting, uh, it's like everything is weak to fighting right now, and uh, fighting's a little bit strong. It's gonna get a little bit weaker, I think, once the uh, once the uh, 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 standard change uh, comes into effect. So I think. Decks like this will get stronger. I'm really upset, and I'm, I'll tell you why. I want you to think about this for a minute. Think about the good colorless Pokemon and what their weakness is. Almost all of them are fighting, which gives fighting a tremendous, tremendous boost. Uh, and, and, and I, think, I think I even looked at all the GX, the colorless GX cards, were weak to fighting, which is just unfair. It, you know, uh, it doesn't really make sense. It seems like an imbalance. So I'm uh, I'm a little bit upset at that. Uh, they, you know, have more more should be weak to lightning, and that might actually be an increase in lightning. So whoever designed that, I think kind of fell asleep at the wheel. And even if you think about some of the Pokemon, like if you think about Orangaroo, should he be weak to fighting? I don't I don't think so. It, you know, it's a, it's a he's a he's a, a gorilla. He's a, a, a well, I guess an ape. Um, he doesn't have a tail, so he's not a monkey. He is an ape. And uh, at least from what I can see in this picture, so he's an ape-based Pokemon, and you would think fighting would have a lot of trouble with an ape because you know apes are strong. So uh, lightning, I can see, right? You'd have like lightning cages in the zoo, and maybe animals can't get past that. Like that would be hard for an ape to deal with. But fighting, come on, I, I just don't understand this. Pfft, don't get me started. All right, anyway, so let's uh, let's get to our first and hopefully only game where I win by a tremendous amount and embarrass my opponent. All right, here we go, where I'm totally ready to win and nothing weird go on in this match. Here we go, all right. So heads, because heads never, oh no, it's tails never fails. Darn it, I keep forgetting. So my opponent will go first. All right, not great. But not bad, but I, I can get around this. I actually should have maybe put Zekrom as my uh, bench Pokemon and then get this Guzma out of my hand because I'm going to call an Oranguru. I could use the Ultra Ball to get the uh, Guzma out of my hand. Oh, okay, Victini. Hmm. What am I facing? I'm not really sure. 
It's nice to get Lily on the first hand, right? That's like, kind of awesome. All right, I'm going to get rid of Goose. No, I'm not. Because in an emergency, I'm going to need to get him back. So let's just uh, let's go with this. Because in, if I get rid of these two, I can still try to get rid of him later on. Uh, we definitely want the Orangaroo. We're definitely going to draw a card here, so maybe we can still get... Maybe. Just maybe. Nope. But this isn't bad. Actually, we can get rid of the Guzma as well and uh, bother the Victini. Let's do that. So next turn, I uh, should be able to draw at least two cards. And I'm going to leave Coco there. Uh, not that I'm going to attack with Coco in the first turn. A um, <laughs> little short on getting the energy there. Oh, I, that, that's what I couldn't figure out what this deck was. But yeah, I kind of remember looking at this. This should be interesting. I kind of calculated it, and it doesn't really work out. Uh, if one is heads, it's 20. All our heads are 120. I think I calculated to do like 85 damage or something weird like that. Um, and so it wasn't really worth it. But now with Kukui, uh, I could be in trouble here. 60, 70. Mm, that's good, but Victini's going to let him go again. So that's bad. That's good. That's good. All right. So I think I want to put Zek at the front. Too bad Zek didn't catch that damage. All right. I'm going to totally empty my hand. And I'm not going to put... I don't think I'm going to put Zek as the active unless somehow this guy evolves. Ooh, so close. So, all right. I'm going to wait till next turn. So let's do this. Give him another target. Oh, so close. So close. I'm one turn away of evolving this and then using Zekrom and just destroying everything. And actually, I could start putting some energy on the Coco, too. I could put... I've n I haven't done it where I put like four on Zekrom because I'm never sure that it's not going to get knocked out. Oh, interesting. All right, so... I think I should kind of target Victini here. How much damage did he do? 10. Oh, that's a bummer. All right, so we do have to get rid of this energy. But uh, let's get our Vico Volt. We'll have a free hand. Don't mess around here. Don't mess around. Very careful. Don't misclick. And I, I have to say, it's like the worst thing to misclick. And lose a game that way. It's 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 equally bad as in, in chess too. I did that the other night, and I was all right. So first things first, do strong charge before you draw, because if I drew that energy, I wouldn't be able to place it down. So all right, grass on him, electricity on him. You see, I'm already out of lightning energy. I need to get some of that back. Brock went in there. Uh, so, but we do have pal pad. Hopefully, we can get that back. So here. Brock's coming back, and Guzma. That's good. That's kind of what I have the pal pad in there for, to get those. So I can go a little bit lighter on the supporters I need, and then get them back later. And then I don't like have to worry about Sycamore or some. You know, some games you may need to Guzma a whole bunch of times. All right, what do we got here? Do I want to get rid of that? Yes, I do. Why not? And I feel pretty good here, as long as this guy doesn't go away. Um, I'm going to Super Rod, I think. Yeah, I need to get that Lightning Energy back. I don't want to risk getting End and losing that chance. So, Brox is back in the deck, so I don't have to worry about too much there. I don't feel the need to play this Orangaroo. I want to keep my options open. I almost want another Grubbin so I can uh, double up on this, but here we go. Focal point in effect. There we go. So this is going to be... Uh, so far, I feel pretty good here. My opponent's deck. It's an interesting deck idea. So like, focal point is Victini. 
and try to get all the things that would uh, go with that. Wow, this continues headbutt. So what's your what's what's the realistic? Because I know if it's flip a coin to get tails, the average is going to be a half. So really, you're getting like 40 damage. I mean, how you know the the, the odds are going to go down tremendously after that. I mean, even with Victini, I, I think you only average something like one, let's say. So it's still only doing 80 damage. I don't think it's averaging 160. Maybe at best, uh, what's in between that, 120? So again, is it really worth it? You know, 120 for stage one with three energy on it. Is he going to go again? Yeah, I would go again. Because 80 is not going to cut it here. Oh, he's got me. Whoa. So 240, yeah, maybe it does because you get that. I, I have to calculate the odds. All right, but I'm okay because um, Coco here is going to, well, he's only going to do 100 damage. Hmm. Maybe I'm not as okay as I thought. All right, let's see what we got here. So what we do, yeah, we're going to go full in on Coco. Let him do 100. Let's put an energy on. Ooh, I almost want a Ranguru. Because he's going to do 120. I can knock him out later. You know what? I am. I'm going to I'm gonna get this guy up and ready. Let's do that. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I have to figure out the odds on this again. Oh, there. Finally got Zekrom. Next turn I can play Brock's Grit. So I don't have to worry about their, uh, having enough energy in there. I have an energy to throw on him on top of it, so. I mean, the other thing to do is to put 20 on this, because this 130 is going to knock him out anyway. But then I kind of wasted an energy throwing it on him. I can, uh, hmm. I can do this 20 damage. If I do 100 now, no, that's not going to cut it. Let's do 20 on everyone. I know I wasted an energy. But uh, this 130 is still going to knock him out. And if not, the 120 from Oranguru will. I could even, yeah, I could even throw three energy on Oranguru and go after him. So what I really want to do is aim for the Victini, but I don't think uh, I'm going to have a Guzma anytime soon. All right, so we're trading off here. My opponent's going to most likely, I still don't think the odds are right for that. I think it's like 120. Cause I remember calculating it. If it is 120, he's likely to knock Coco out. He's got a full bench there, and Victina sit sitting there. So, oh, well, I'll have to use uh, Zekrom's attack now. Did I use both of them? I only used one field blower. How much energy is in here? Three, and it's going to be another three if he gets knocked out. So no there. So now it's a 50-50 shot. It's less than a 50-50 shot. There you go. So nothing going there. That is good. And I can't knock him out with Zek. And this energy didn't go... Uh... Wow, now I really should have done the uh, attack. But let's see. Let's see how much I have in here. One and one. All right, so we can power up the next Zekrom. Let's do that. Let's put a... Let's get this guy ready, too. I probably should just power to Ranguru and use him to attack. Come to think of it, I'm not going to use Brock. Let me just use Cynthia here. I probably should have held still, but... I'm going to see if I can knock that off. Nope. Oh, well, there we go. That'll help a little bit. Mm, these two Bridget's are just stuck in my hand. I still have the Brocks in my hand. You now I have to do Electric Ball because of this uh, Dumbbell. So if I did it before, he'd be knocked out, although he might not have used that on him. He might be on a different guy. It's not a huge deal. And as you see, so the first one did 240 damage, and this one, eh, not as much. He doesn't have enough energy to retreat off of this guy. 
But you never know, he may have a switch or a rope or something like that. All right, well, there's the field blower, which doesn't help at all, unless he doesn't knock him out. And he doesn't. Wow. So now I can knock him out. Hmm, what do I do? Do I knock him out with the Rangaroo? Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> All right, so uh, that was uh, that was quick. I was actually joking before about the whole uh, destroying my opponent. But, uh, yeah, I think I had the, uh, the edge there. And I think... What I thought about uh, his deck with the probabilities is, is right, but I'll have to I'll have to research it anyway. But I think you got a good idea of what this deck is. Um, you know, this 130 does a, does a heck of a lot of damage, and it's it's, it's pretty powerful. Um, Vikavolt can easily get that uh, energy back on. I had Coco ready doing 100 damage a turn. I had him on the bench ready for 130. Um, obviously, the you know even a Rangaru was ready to attack with Psychic, and he had three energy on him, so that would have done 120. Um, I didn't get my uh, Stadium out, but that's okay. Um, I did get it out a little bit later, so it's usually a, a big help. But obviously, Vika Volt is the uh, is the big central part of this deck. He he needs to stay alive, and uh, so I have I do have a three one three line with three rare candies, so he's not that hard to get out. Um, you know, again, this is a pretty strong deck. Don't sleep on it. Uh, if you have the if you have the Vika Volts, if you have the Rangaroo, even if you have the Cocos, check it out. You could probably make it without the Cocos. Just go, you know, uh, you can probably find someone else, a different attacker, maybe uh, Shining Lugia. Uh, you know, there's a few there's a few out there that uh, might be worth it. Um, you know, or even even go with four Rangaroo, right? You have a lot of draw, um, and uh, you know, attacking ability if your opponent has the energy left on their Pokemon. So. Uh, I definitely recommend this deck. It's a good budget deck. It's pretty strong. I think once uh, the uh, fighting mania that we have goes away a little bit, dies down a little bit, this deck will get a, li a little bit stronger. Uh, definitely able to... I'm eyeing this deck. I have a couple decks that I'm eyeing for uh, conversion to uh, the 19 standard, 2019 standard. So uh, this is going to be one of them. So, well, thanks a lot for watching, and until next time.